What's up, people? What is going on today? Uh, it is a, uh, is it hump day? Is it, is it, I think it's Wednesday. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's Thursday. I don't know. What day is it? I check my phone, but I'm, I'm Facebook in live and I can't check my phone. Somebody tell me what day it is. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to get in on, uh, on us today here on our talk. Uh, kind of exciting. Episode 20, Wes Nielsen. Oh, right in there, buddy. Uh, episode 20 of Art Talk. Here we are. Uh, it's going faster than the vlog. My glasses are a bit crooked, too. Uh, got my my cap on. Uh, Johnny Martinez, good morning. Uh, I had hair, hat hair, bed hair this morning. Things I just couldn't fix. Some couple of cowlicks, a couple of, couple, couple of directions. Not something, Wes, you need to worry about. Um, Johnny might have to worry about uh, that with your beard. I don't know. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, is it all going like one direction? Like you're going through a wind tunnel? I don't know. Uh, good morning, guys. Um, our talk today uh, got some good stuff. Super good stuff. I'm super. Ha I'm really happy to be home. Uh, what's up, Ken Vella? Uh, the boys are in the house. The triptych, the fireballers. What's up going on? Uh, everybody's having a good time today. Uh, Ken, are you back from Chicago uh, yet? Um, we talked yesterday. I don't know if you were flying in last night or you're flying in today. Don't really know. Uh, Ken just went and saw Joe Bortz and his collection and uh, had some inter an interesting time in Chicago. What's up, Fireball? And Johnny says Rick White. Uh, Rick from the Santa Barbara Woody Club. Yeah, boy. Uh, gentlemen, we are having fun today. Ah, except I just nailed my elbow on this thing. Ah, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Uh, we're going to wait just another minute or two uh, so that people can join us. Hey, no, uh, Ken is still in Chicago. Yes. Jerry Crocker is in the house. Jerry Crocker, good morning. Um, yes, interact. Uh, that's the way it works. Uh, this is Art Talk, episode 20, and where you can interact with each other, um, which you guys are currently doing at the moment. Chris Eckerson, uh, welcome to, to, morning's art talk, uh, to, to this morning's Art Talk. It's early. I don't know. Things aren't working between the brain and the mouth. Not really sure yet. Uh, working on it. We got some good people in the house today. Um, lots of fireballers, ballers, lots of, can you tell what this says? You know, Kathleen Harrigan, you are the first lady in the house. Thank you. My God, I'm dealing with guys this morning. Uh, Kathleen, is, where are you from, Kathleen? Let, let us know. Uh, you can ask, you can interact. This is live on Facebook. Chris says, good morning, Fireball. Thanks for the shout out of Secret Car Club. You bet. That's what this is about. Fireball fix that elbow thing. This is a repetitive event. I, I don't think I did it last time. I just did it this time. Uh, anyway, uh, we are good. We are good. Oh, on the vlog. Yes, of course. Um, as a, uh, a segue, thank you for that, Chris. Uh, the Today's vlog went up and uh, we, we just um, got back from Santa Cruz. An epic journey. Epic journey. The first part of that. Um, uh, KY Awake says, Dino. Uh, I'm not sure what KY is, but that's okay. I, I'm not not too positive. Uh, anyway, so we got back from um, Santa Cruz. We bought a, a, a Woody and a Vintage trailer and a bunch of stuff from the Murphy Museum. Uh, incredible stuff. So when you guys go up there, I'm going to be up there on Saturday and on Sunday if you guys are around. And uh, we're going to be uh, pulling a lot of that stuff out. If you guys come by uh, Saturday, we're having an artist meeting for the Fireball Gallery. And Sunday, we're going to Ventura Cars and Coffee. So that's going to be fun and doing some other things. Kentucky. That's cool. Dino's from Kentucky. Love it. Okay, so uh, check out the, today's vlog if you can because uh, lots of great stuff. You get to see the Woody. You get to see Ben L Lomond, the town. Uh, just had a great time. Had a great time. Uh, not so tired as I was when I got back, but I feel pretty good today. Um, what else do we have? Oh, and it's official. You, uh, Although you can't see this because it's kind of it's backwards, but this says... Wait, hold on a second. Let's see. It says... Uh, there it is. Um, it's backwards. It says, uh, Director Automotive Art at the Murphy Museum. That's my official title, working with the Murphy. They gave me business cards. Who knew? It's awesome. Uh, the, um, the gallery, uh, we are, we are, uh, gearing up for the gallery. You guys know this. Uh, Ventura Cars and Coffee. Yes, I'm Rick. I'm going to that tomorrow morning. Uh, that's at the, um, the, uh, Coffee Bean in Malibu. I think it's on Thompson. Might be on Thompson. Uh, it's going to be a good show. Uh, always a good show. Good turnout. So uh, the gallery is showing uh, Wes. We have uh, Wes Nielsen who's going to join us. We have Johnny Martinez. We have Chris Dunlop. We have Chris Garcia. 
we have Bohemia Incorporated, and we have Joff Ambao. Those are the artists. Um, but we are now fully booked for one year out. We have three fully booked art shows, and we have one artist for number four. It's crazy. It's a crazy. It's insane. All right, let's get into today's subject because we want to get, get going. Uh, Johnny says, been at a castle concourse in Riverside uh, for me this Sunday. Got to miss my pals. Yeah, that's okay. That's a good show. You got, you got to have fun. Uh, although, Johnny, you'll probably win that show again with your, your ride. Uh, if you haven't seen Johnny's uh, tea bucket, it's amazing. Amazing. Um, it's not the coffee bean on Main Street. It's down, there's a shopping center um, further south from Main Street, I think. Anyway, there's not that many coffee beans. So uh, just, just type in Ventura Cars and Coffee online, you'll be able to find it. Okay, today's subject, I want to talk a little bit about the idea of chain linking. And uh, you know what a chain is, right? Okay, if you've, uh, if you've ever towed a car, you know what a chain is. It's those little things that do this and this and this and this, and this all the way through. Uh, chain linking is the, the metaphor to, to, for today because there are a variety of ways in which we chain link our lives. And uh, uh, according to how we chain link is how we benefit from whether our life is, our life is expanding and growing and, and being good or whether we're chain linking crap. And we don't want to chain link crap because that's no fun. That leads to, uh, yeah, more chain, more, more links in the chain. And we don't want to do that. And there are basically two ways in which we chain link things. We chain link things with our thoughts and we chain link with our actions. And our actions ultimately are um, a product of our thoughts, you know, so to speak. Alisa Jackson, thank you for joining us. Another lady in the house. Appreciate that. Um, so, you know, in chain linking, uh, the only way, you know, th there's, there's two ways to do it. One is that we can do it consciously and, or we can do it unconsciously. Now, the unconscious way of chain linking kind of sucks because you're chain linking and you don't know you're chain linking. You're you're uh, concentrating on on the problems of life. You're concentrating on on uh, you know things that people say, other people's opinions of you, all that kind of bananas. And oh, Kathy's joining me. What do you got this morning? Watermelon carrot juice. Watermelon carrot juice. Thank you very much. It's cold. In a big glass. Wow. Mm. No, that's rocking. Well, I've never, I've never tasted that. Uh -huh. Watermelon and carrot in the same <laughs> glass. Check it out. Good stuff. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Welcome. She's so awesome. She's so awesome. Chain linking. So uh, as we chain link negativity and we focus on negativity, we, we focus on worry and anxiety, then guess what? We chain link and we get more of those things because basically that's what you're, you're reaching out into the universe and uh, your thoughts are grabbing onto other things. And as it grabs onto other things, it grabs onto other things of likeness, of like-mindedness. And we want to be, be able to control that. And the only way to control that is through conscious thinking, not through unconscious or subconscious thinking. And unfortunately, our subconscious makes up, comprises of about 95% of our mindset. And our conscious mind is a very, very small part. So the, the, that the fact that you would randomly toss things out there and your subconscious is running with things, your life can run amok, as they say, and it does run amok. And you you have, you concentrate on negativity or worry or anxiety of something that's going on. Let me fix my hat. Um, and, and you're so surprised when negativity shows up in your life. You're, you're, it's like, how, why does this keep happening to me? Why, why is this always showing up? Uh, you know, and, and that's something that, that um, you have to take responsibility for because it's not, there's no one else to blame. It, that's just the way it is. There's no one else that you can blame for the way things are in your life. I'm talking about everything, everything. And we have to be clear on this is that if, and, and it's not about dwelling on the fact that you, you, that things are bad in your life. It's about taking responsibility, recognizing what's not working and, and fix it. And you can fix it by conscious level thinking and conscious level thinking is uh, expressing gratitude, expressing appreciation for those around you, for uh, your life, for the situation that you're in. If you don't have a lot of money and um, uh, you have uh, $2 in the bank and you got 50 cents in your pocket, well, there's two ways to look at that. You can say, I don't have a lot of money and I can't do things and I'm limited and all this kind of crap, right? Uh, and guess what? You're going to get more of that because that's what you're putting out there with your thoughts. Uh, and your, your speakage, your verbiage. So it's very important. But if you can show appreciation and be grateful 
and that oh, I only got two bucks. I only got two bucks, and uh, you know, well, it's better than having no bucks because um, I may not be able to go to Starbucks, but I got bucks, and there's lots of bucks in this in this rant. But my point is, which I think you guys uh, will get, uh, Frank. Thanks for joining us. Rock the day, peeps. Passion on. You bet. You bet. Is that um, uh, gratitude and appreciation gets you to where you want to go, and you chain link gratitude and appreciation throughout the day. And guess what? Good, good stuff just starts happening. Random good stuff starts happening. And, uh, and that's an important thing to recognize. That's conscious level thinking, is that you are consciously putting things out there in gratitude, in an appreciation, and you start to reap the rewards of that. And that's important. Now, how that works is none of your business. You got to get off the how train, because the how train, uh, that's not the train you want to be on. You just want to lay down the, the, uh, uh, the foundation for that. Okay, does that make sense? Uh, Jack Frank, thanks for watching. Uh, joining us on Our Talk, this is episode 20. We are Facebook Live. You can interact with each other. You can ask me questions. Um, you can uh, you can do jumping jacks, whatever you want. You're free to do whatever you want. Hold on a second. Okay, uh, be sure to check out today's vlog, uh, episode 910. Uh, it is uh, us going up to Santa Cruz and pick, and buying a Woody and a vintage trailer and a bunch of other stuff at the Murphy Museum. Freaking cool. It was awesome. <laughs> okay, so... The second aspect of chain linking uh, above and beyond your thoughts are your conscious level actions. These are actions that you take that are conscious actions. Now, as I mentioned in a previous art talk, uh, I spend Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, populating my calendar with cool shit, with cool stuff, things that I want to do, things that I look forward to. And such is the day today. Today, I'm having lunch. Uh, Kathy and I are going down to Hermosa Beach. We're having lunch with our cousin, Gabe Clement. Uh, Gabe has a huge um, background in sales and work for uh, Maddox, DVS Shoes, all that kind of stuff. We're showing him the new Surfer Girls coloring book right there. Yeah, yeah. Product placement. And... Um, uh, and he's going to help us, uh, you know, uh, maybe we don't know everything there is, you know, to explore that ideal. So we're going to have lunch with him. We're going to a 40s diner, yeah, 40s diner in Hermosa Beach called Ocean Ocean Cafe, Ocean Diner. I think it's called Ocean Diner. Uh, super excited about that because we're driving the Cadillac to take it down there. Uh, Cadillac sent me the CT6. We're going to drive that down there. That's just fun. That's just a fun thing to do. And we're going to learn some things. Kathy and I get to spend the day together. We're going to we're going to go through Hermosa, go to some surf shops. And I just, I look forward to that. So I'm chain linking. I'm chain linking, right? There's there's things I got to do today. I got to make some phone calls before I go. Got to do some stuff when I get back. Obviously got to get the, the vlog up for you guys at the end of the day um, as best we can. But chain linking your thoughts about being excited about the things you get to do today and the things that, uh, the actions that you're going to take uh, to make those things happen, those exciting things. You know, sometimes you can chain link your thoughts and not really know what to do, right? And in that case, if I don't know what to do next, you know what I do? I go take a shower. I go take a shower. And that's what I'm going to do, even though I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go take a shower because a shower puts you in a theta state in your mindset, right? Okay? It's being strategic. Okay, I'm not messing around here. This is not goofball time. I'm I'm serious. Psychologically speaking, when you take a shower, you go from an alpha state down into a theta state, and in a theta state is where creativity exists, and that's where ideas come from. That's you get in that that mode, that subconscious level thinking, and things start to flow. Right. So uh, if I if I get into a, a mode where I, I I'm not really sure what to do next, I take a shower, take a bath, put, put myself in a theta state. I get excited and then booyah, things start to happen. You know, you can also do that in a meditative state. Uh, Dan Jewell, thanks for watching. Uh, calendar the you, says Frank. I don't know what that means, Frank, but it's, it's Arizona, it's Arizona speak. Arizona speak, that's okay. It's good. I'm sure it's positive. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Uh, who else we got here? Um, as you guys know, this is live until it goes up on Facebook, which it will by the uh, by later today. This is episode 20. Uh, if you miss any part of this art talk, then you uh, you can see it there. Okay, so that's that's really the 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 gist for today. So I, w I want you guys to think about that today. Is chain linking the day? Chain link the day is is think about you know try to be conscious level in your thoughts and uh, focus on the things that you have, the things you're grateful for, the people that you're grateful for, the things you get to do. Because we live in the USA. We don't live in, in uh, um, you know, a third world country, 
right? You know, and 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 living in the USA, sir, sure, there's lots of challenges and things like that. But for the most part, you can walk outside and go anywhere you want and not be hassled and just enjoy your life and see the things that you love, which for me is cool cars, cool cars. That's what it is, right? And I'm going to see some today. All right. So get out there. Have a spectacular day. Do your part in making your life better. And if you do your part to the extreme, if you get out there and you kick ass, you will inspire others. That's the whole goal. All right. And through that, they will do the same and our lives will get better. You know, society will get better. Uh, you know, we're improving the world one cool car at a time, right? Sounds good. All right, guys, have a great day, spectacular day. We'll see you on Art Talk tomorrow. Woohoo!